Bryce, my friend. It's a quick booth tour. So excited to be here. And in fact, we're going to jump right into the machines because you know how long-winded I can be, right? A world premiere here with the Swiss XT32. Let's talk a little bit about it. Give me about 30 seconds of amazing. The 360 32 available in two diameter, 16 and 32, two version, eight and nine axis. So it's really an all-rounder. That can do pretty much everything. 98% of the part a machine shop running Swiss type machine could be confronted with, could be basically machined with this machine. It's powerful, it, it's, an, it can, uh, it's a machine that can do everything, pretty easy. Come and discover it, it's on our website and uh, you'll be amazed by the capability of this new machine. It can do everything much like yourself from what I hear. Let's take um, a look. I'm not so sure about that. But we're gonna yeah. We're gonna bump into the Swiss Nano in just a minute, number 10. And that's an exciting machine. I heard a rumor that said that's your favorite machine. It Am is I my favorite is, machine. So it what is. makes it your favorite machine? It's compact, it's very ergonomic, it's a pleasure to work on. For the operator, it's, uh, it's basically it's basically the best machine to work on in the, in the range, if not in the industry. You really are in front of the guy bush, and that's a big plus for the, for the operator. On such a small machine, what is really difficult is to center your tool in Y. Just the fact that being able to be in front of the guide bush makes your life so much easier. You have six axes, it's a machine that has basically three linear axes in, the, in main operation, three linear axes in the back operation, so meaning all what you have to do is play with the CNC to center your tool and that makes your life easier. And this machine has beaten up across his lifetime quite some bigger machines. So it's uh, it's fighting well above its weight actually. Oh, I like the way you put that. <laughs> if you like those two machines, Bryce and I have two amazing videos on those two machines. You can deep dive into all of that. Now as we head over to this next machine, this is actually more of a unique configuration that I'm not used to seeing, Bryce. What about this machine would the audience love to hear about? It's the Swiss Deco. It's probably the most uh, powerful machine money can buy today uh, for the Swiss type. Uh, it's a machine that this one has a, has a turret, 12 position turret. On the turret, we are, there is a B-axis actually, meaning it's almost a bar milling machine. We are really on the at the frontier between Swiss time and bar milling machine with the Swiss Deco. Except the bar milling machine has no guide bush. The Swiss Deco has a guide bush, a pretty strong one, meaning you can do long part with the Swiss Deco. We have really some, uh, some nice uh, parts that have been made on this machine, and it's, uh, it's basically the pinnacle of what we can do. I like that, the pinnacle of anything. Now, when I talk about this and we move on to the next one as well, something that always pops into my head is we're all trying to do more with less or trying to save yes. space in a machine shop. A pretty universal amongst the uh, Tornos machines is the fact that you're able to do so much more inside of one machine. But the last question I have before we slide over here is, I've always loved my grandma, yeah. but you've actually referred to this machine as almost like a grandma machine because she's grandma. been around so long and it's, so reliable, right? It's a cam machine. This machine has been presented at Imo in Paris in 1954, if I'm not mistaken, wow. or in that region. And now we are in 2023 and it's again at Imo. Amazing. It's remanufactured, basically. It's a cam multi-spindle, the SI-16, unbeatable in terms of productivity. Uh, even today, CNC, whether it's a Tornos or one of our friends from other brand, they cannot beat the productivity of such a, of such a machine with a CNC. Uh, what we have done here, it's uh, completely renewed. All the mechanical parts have been changed and it's basically ready for the next 25 years. And, of course, we have added a CNC for, the, for threading. We have the possibility to add two CNC slides on those machines. It's quite... It's quite nice, it's an, we call it an hybrid multi-spindle. We keep the productivity of the cam and we add a little bit of the flexibility of the CNC, but just a little bit, because it still needs to be an unbeatable machine in terms of, uh, of productivity. And that's what it is, actually. Grandma is unbeatable. The way you talk about this machine, I think you like your grandma as well. I like So let's grandma. walk over here where we have 130 years in the spotlight and this gorgeous machine up in the glass as well. We won't talk about that too much as we're going to slide by here and actually work our way into 
this machine, Swiss DT 38 HP, where you told me something that's actually utilized on a lot of CNC machines, but you told me I can rough and finish at the same time. And I think that's worth having a conversation about as you talk about this machine as well. Well, actually, the, the Swiss DT 38 HP, unlike the, the, the Swiss 60 32, cannot rough and finish oh. at the same time. But that's not that's not uh, that's not a problem. This is why I keep experts around like you, so <laughs> I can be corrected when I make that assumption. No, no, but, but not a problem because what the Swiss DT forty eight can do, it's an entry level machine. It's uh, it's really the entry door into the, the world of uh, of Tomos. First of all, you have a on this base we have a thirteen, a twenty six, a thirty two, and a thirty eight millimeter machine. But what makes it unique from the competition is that. The gang tool is fully modular, like you have on the Swiss 60, like you have on the Swiss GT, like you have on the Nevo Deco. Meaning you can configure the machine according to your need. If you want to do a medical screw on this machine, you can do it. And you can actually go, grab the thread wire that is on the XT, put it inside the machine and press start and it will work. You have to do a bit of programming, we talked before. But, uh... <laughs> Very good. So can I show you my favorite Tornos machine? Yeah, show me. Well, as we walk that way, your booth is so busy, right? I'm loving it. Loving it. So we're going to push through the wave of people, right? Yes. As we get through the, through the crowd here. And my favorite Tornos machine is this one here, and I'll tell you why. I'm always fascinated, Bryce, when I see multiple spindles cutting apart and realizing that if I'm a simple math person and I have a part that's, I don't know, for easy math, let's say one minute, yeah. and then I have six spindles, and then I divide that by an average of, of yes. that 60 seconds, now I'm 10 seconds per part as a part comes off every 10 seconds instead of yeah. every minute. Now do that math times 10,000, 100,000 yeah. or more. I love this machine. No, it's, it's indeed a, a different league. The multi-spindle, the productivity you can get, well, I mean, this part is basically manufactured on the booth. The cycle time is four seconds. Wow. I mean, this is, uh, this is eco brass. It's pretty difficult to, to, to machine. I mean, we have seen most di more difficult uh, material, but still, it's not that easy, and it's four seconds. And it's true that the multi-spindle allow you to multiply your productivity by five, six, or even eight times what you would get on another machine, on a simple lathe. And that's, uh, that's make it, it makes it unique. And what we have done with the multi-Swiss is that it's pretty easy to set up. You go into the machine, put your tool, same principle as the other machine, set up the machine, uh, set up the tool that you want to have on each side, press start, and you're ready to rock. You, my friend, are amazing and proven you're ready to work as well. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Daddy, I've actually cool. run out of breath a little bit. We've been running around this thing, and my poor hip, I tell you what. But thank you so much for Thank the you so much, tour. Sonny. For everyone who's watching, we appreciate you tuning in. This is Tour Notes and my friend Bryce. Hope you've enjoyed this and tour as much as I have. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tony.